Hi guys. So it's day two of the tournament. Yesterday we took y'all with us. We went um, to those tree houses, um, went like wild walk, and it was really fun. We had a great time. But today it's back to business. So it's the morning of day two. Um, Dustin is in group B and he is currently in second. So I'm really, really hoping that we pull it out with a W today. But if not, I'm still super proud. So this is basically what it looks like on my end. They're all out there and we just stand out here and chill with the fans. That's Dustin, he's way up there. He's talking, he's talking to Matt Lee. We kind of seen a little bit. It's hopefully for a good day today, me and Kendall, we're gonna go to um, a castle. It's called like Bolt Castle or I probably said that wrong. I say most words wrong. Um, anyways, we're going to go to the castle and um, watch a lot of score tracker. So, we're going to take you along today as we do that. So, anyways, here's to a good day. He's back by favorite rods. Kuka Bay Strike. Go powerful. It is Justin Cano! Literally off the boat, but it's still already so pretty. I literally look at that. So we just got to the castle, and y'all, it's literally amazing. Like, literally. I, I seriously don't even think that this camera can do this justice. So apparently, this man built this castle for his wife, and on year four of building, he died. And when he died, um, he just quit building. So um, this whole castle just sat here for years and years, and just, I guess, like decayed. Um, so it's really pretty cool. Um, I definitely think maybe Dustin should build me a castle. Well, I don't even know if it's true love unless your man builds your castle. So. It's pretty cool. I can't wait for you guys to see all of this. So, so neat. You know, like back when they were building that, I think about little things like how it how it was to build like every like inch of this and like this wood. of the castle and it was just really really cool to see that like this guy built this castle like just for his wife and when she um she passed away in like the middle of them building it he just completely quit building the castle and um he actually named this island heart heart island and like a lot of the parts of the castle has like things like a lot of the gardens have hearts all in it. So it's really, really cool. The history of it's cool. And you know, after deep thought today, I definitely think Dustin owes me a castle, right? Like if your husband, your boyfriend don't build you a castle, 
is it even really, really true love? And I don't blame the guy for not living here. If Dustin was building me a castle, and then he built me a castle, and lived in it with another woman, it probably wouldn't be good. The man did say that. He did in that little video we watched. Oh no, the guy, some guy somewhere. He talked about it. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's that guy downstairs. Definitely think I needed this history class because I didn't even realize there was feral power a hundred years ago. Don't know where I've been. Don't know um, why I was never taught that, or maybe I wasn't. I just didn't listen. But pretty cool. They had it in a whole powerhouse. Definitely don't look like Alabama power in here. Then. You do not go swimming in this. This is basically like the tundra. I know. So, whoever said that New York State, whoever said New York State, is um like not humid and not hot ridiculously hot has never been here or literally has a completely definition of me and hot weather because it is like 86 degrees and i have been sweating the whole time i've been here i literally pack sweatshirts don't need them you don't need them and the day two Is it on a good day? Good day. It's good. Is it a good day? He went into practice mode. It's yeah. It's even better for me. Really? Because I got to see how it ought to be done instead of the way I do it. There you go. And look, when I when he started dropping, I knew right there that he was practicing. I said he's practicing. So. Good. It made the end of the day very easy. There you go. It was hot. So yeah, hot today. I did. Thank you. You got to give me some, at least some. <laughs> you going back out tomorrow with somebody? Yes. Good deal. A long time, not <laughs> call it. What's the biggest mom out there I'm called? Uh, is it four? Yeah. Four times. Man, this place. Oh, my gosh, it's so good. What, what, up, buddy? Uh, what would you say, like, your best bait was this so far? Well, that that's what I be catching on there right there. Uh, Three inches. Spread it on for like a single quick shake hook. Uh, leave the hook exposed. Uh, Three eggs down the way. Uh, Drop it out. Hit the right beat. Did you? You got oh. a few, did he? I caught seven over four pounds. Had me a fun day. I finally just said, well, I ain't gonna chase him down. Yeah. I feel pretty good about it more though. I knew when you, I knew when you stopped drop started dropping that you were you were done. Yeah, I was done. I was just practicing. I was just practicing then. It is so freaking hot. I thought this was gonna be like a mediocre weather. Whereabouts? <laughs> I told them. What's up? Oh my man. I said that earlier that it was like Alabama weather here. Around we knock out round bound. It's so stinking hot. I literally said that. I said that earlier on here that it. Man, I, I, like I really, I did not expect it to be this stinking hot. It is smoking hot, like bad. So I got a little game plan for tomorrow. We're gonna go out there. The whole goal is to catch bass and not suck. <laughs> so that's 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 the game plan. Catch bass. Catch bass. Get gas and catch bass? Yes. Go get some gas. Speaking of gas, I ran all my gas out today trying to find these bass. Oh, and I about ran out of gas. You gotta put gas? $62. And it didn't even fill the thing up. Yeah, welcome to uh Don't high say gas it. prices. Yeah. Welcome to high gas prices. There you go. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Joe. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Okay, so I mean kinda had an interesting day. We went to that castle. And so let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you about it. Uh-uh. 
Basically, this guy built this castle for his wife because okay. he loved her so much. And they were on year four building it, and she died of, of heart problems. Oh, she just up oh. and died. So he called off building the castle. So it was unfinished for years and years because he would not, he wouldn't. They say that he never even walked back on the island after she died, that he wouldn't go back to it. He even right. had the whole island made into the shape of a heart. That was for the love of his life. Oh my gosh. So basically, I've come to the conclusion, real love is measured by a castle. So I'm gonna need a castle. And if something happens to me, you better not have you better not live there or have another woman there. Hey. <laughs> I need a one more go get a Lego castle. <laughs> there you go. Man, a Lego castle. I mean I didn't specify what type of castle. Hey guys, we're gonna close this video out. We're about to go get some grub. Yeah. Knockout round bam, boys. It's on. <laughs>